You know, you guys, I was uh, <clears throat> thinking, we're all young kids at one time. Remember when you got your driver's license, you drive fast in residential. I just watched these young kids blow by me like 55 and 25. I was pissed. I don't, I don't speed in residential areas ever. On boulevards, I do about 10 over. And I don't care because it's a boulevard. No one's on there. If it's a straight street and there's no one sides are going to run out on a bicycle. It's a boulevard. I'm all right. Five, ten over. I don't give a shit, right? But residential, I, I do the speed limit. And if I go five over, I freaking bring it back down because I don't want to hit any children. So, but when you're 16 and 17, you'll speed. But you, your brain is not, you don't think logically. You have no common sense. So all you care, all you're like is, oh, if I get caught, I'm gonna get in trouble for speeding. You don't understand the consequence of killing someone. So I see some of these kids that get vehicular manslaughter and they end up in prison and they really, you know, there needs to be a punishment, but you know, if one killed my son, I'd be pissed, right? But they don't have the common sense. They lack the common sense to be able to really look at that picture. You know what I mean? Like, what happens if I'm speeding and a kid runs out? They don't think like that. And I think our, our driving schools, you know, if you're 16, <clears throat> if you're like maybe 30 and get your license, then no. But between 16 and 25, you're pretty much an idiot at those ages. And uh, you should be able to, I mean, there's some, uh, some mature 25 year olds, but it's very rare. Um, but you want to, I think they should have like a more graphic, showing little kids getting ran over. Just show their brain splattered so they get the picture. You know, you get the picture. Kid on a skateboard comes out of the driveway and you run them over and kill them. So it's not just, I think the speeders, when they're young kids, they don't think they're gonna run over anyone. They don't think that. They just think, oh, I'm speeding, I'm, it's illegal. Who gives a shit about speeding? You know what I mean? In their heads. But they don't understand the consequences of killing someone. And that is, that's the question. And I was just thinking about that because that kid was hauling ass by me, man, in a res in, in a residential. There's freaking kids on that corner. I'm thinking, holy shit! I just I, I won't speed in a residential. I can't. Look how much weight I lost, you guys. I freaking lost a ton of weight. My friend just saw me. He's like, you you look sick. I said, yeah, I got freaking sick for 15 freaking days. And you know what's sad? Is I ate so much damn food. I was eating five and six and seven times a day. My girlfriend goes, how can you eat that much freaking food, Ed? I said, I don't know. She goes, you're sick. You shouldn't eat that much. <clears throat> That's all I did was eat. I ate and ate and ate, and I still lost weight because my heart rate was like 100 to 140 beats a minute with the stupid sickness, so it was pretty crazy. Anyways, just want to throw that out there. And I have another video after that, but I'm going to talk to you guys about gun laws and uh, how you will get caught every single freaking time, period. Anyways, you guys, remember that name, Ed Mack.